Everybody, it's Invictus. Time to eat and run here. The Binding of Isaac Victor Repentance Series. Happy Wednesday, Mosh Pit. We are going to do it in regular Eden runs, since, of course, we had a double shot of greed yesterday. And uh, also, we had another video across 3,000 likes, which pushes us at 185 over 210. Thank you very much for making it possible, everyone. I really appreciate all of the love and support this week. It's been overwhelming. And again, I cannot thank you enough for that. Here's your meme of the day brought to you by Not7. Title thread was during the bot fly roast. By the way, saludos del mosh pit espanol. I think means hello to the Spanish mosh pit. He does exactly what I do, but better. <laughs> I mean, it is, uh, look, I, the man tells the truth. You know, at least Botfly knows his place in the hierarchy of fly familiars. Thank you, it's not seven. Everyone who upvoted that one. Seed day is going to be uh, Romeo 3, Alpha Mike 9, November 4, Romeo. We got Cambion, or no, Immaculate Conception and the uh, Crooked Penny, which, you know, we've seen the Crooked Penny do some stuff, some good stuff. Like that. That's uh that's some good stuff for yeah, yeah. I mean I'm gonna take red stew, like for sure. And uh you know, try it again, yeah. Sure, yeah, we'll just do it again here, yeah. I mean, you know, we could use it again here, yeah, you know, we'll go ahead and do it again here, yeah. yeah. We'll get some keys here and get another red stew, and that's gonna give us some good uh starting damage here. Okay, we got a penny. And uh we've seen it do some bad things. Unfortunately, Red Stew does not give us an HP upgrade, but it does give us an absolute butt ton of damage. And uh, <laughs> whenever you can get, whenever you can get three of them on floor one in the first shop, uh, people are going to take notice. You're going to see that and think like, "How way way to say, hang on now, buddy, what kind of hacks you got going on over here now?" Well, Cletus, I'll tell you something. We got really lucky with the Crooked Penny. <laughs> As you just saw there. I mean, look, if that's the kind of luck that we got to look forward to on this run, we might have to do extra innings just be just because of it. So we dropped the boom on uh, on Famine. Okay. We, we pressed our luck too many times. So yeah, I mean, you know, the, with the Crooked Penny, if you get the payouts, great. We've seen it with an amazing combo uh, very recently, actually, where we had the Crooked Penny and the uh, Glowing Hourglass, where we could predict, we could actually predict when the Crooked Penny was actually going to pay out, like actually double. And when it didn't pay out, we just simply used it and then used the Glowing Hourglass and then like queue it up again. So... Like, I'm down for something like that. Like, what I'm not down for are these just garbage freaking item rooms. Hypercoagulation and Brother Bobby. You miss me with that. I, 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 will, I will genuinely pass every single time. So, you know, here's the hoping that we get something good in the Devil Deal and also praying that we get a payout from the Crooked Penny because it doesn't look like we're going to get HP anytime soon. Uh, we don't have a bomb, so we can't go into the secret room, which uh, is actually not there. But obviously, this huge boost that we're getting out of our damage early on, thanks to the Crooked Penny, is uh, absolutely massive. And we're just going to go ahead and go ahead and wait on that. Um, I mean, Yellow Champion Gurglings was actually are kind of annoying early going, but obviously our damage is going to just lay the smack down on them. All right, Crooked Penny, now's your time. Now's your time to prove that you're a big-time player. Never mind, just kidding. I'm not going to waste you on something like Demon Baby. Oh, boy. All right. All right. Well. I mean, I would love to get five bombs here. Yeah. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be like that. It's going to be one of those days. Okay, so we've got some work to do. Um, again, having red stew is going to help us out greatly in our big time of need here, which is going to be pretty bad. Um, I'm hoping, hoping, hope, hoping, hoping, hoping that we find some soul hearts because we cannot have that happen again. 
Putting us down to one half heart is uh, not great. So obviously getting an angel deal would also be kind of cool, but without any reliable way of predicting for the crooked penny, we can't really be so sure that we're going to be able to use it like effectively. Like get it, like hitting it three times in a row is not something that's like that's very uncommon. And you see here, we're starting to lose the bonus of uh, red stew, which is starting to make me a little a little bit worry. The tad. But before we go any further to this uh, this run here, I want to get through the questions of the episode from last week. Shout out to Henri or maybe Henry uh, Bryce Bois or Bryce Bois or Bryce Boys. Uh, who was the person who uh, genuine or who generously upvoted uh, and uh, submitted the question of the day because I was unable to for that week. And uh, they said, uh, question of the, uh, of the episode, now that you've seen both the Tainted Forgotten and Regular Forgotten, whose team are you on? Are you on Team Forgotten, Team Tainted Forgotten? Post your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, they also had the most upvoted comment, uh, which was, personally, I love the unique gameplay of the Tainted Forgotten. It's a good way to play, pa it's a good way to play aggressively uh, while staying safe without having to deal with the micromanaging that comes with switching between uh, the Forgotten and Soul every two seconds. And, I, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm of the same, pretty much of the same opinion. Um, I want to make sure that, you know, I don't have to worry about micromanaging switching characters back and forth. I, I want to focus on where am I, where am I attacking, where am I on the screen, and, you know, what am I aiming at, so that sort of thing. So, um, definitely, definitely feel you on that one. And again, thank you very much, Henry or Henri game seriously stop with the followers dude hypercoagulation brother bobby demon baby yeah all right so we have officially lost our uh our red stew bonus and now we are in dire straits because we have not taken a single item out of our item rooms so thank you very much on the second most upvoted comment came in uh, from Egg with Legs 54, who said, "Team Forgotten all the way just feels less restricted to play as, restrictive to play as." And I again, I can, I can definitely understand this opinion. Um, everything that I just got done saying, you know, about micromanaging and that sort of thing, with the Tainted Forgotten, the same thing can hold true for the Regular Forgotten, in that you don't, you know, or Tainted Forgotten. I mean, you don't want to worry about not being able to fire tears that's a big that's a big step for a lot of people is not being able to fire tears instead you can only fire wherever you wherever you throw the forgotten's body and then that's that and then of course you can throw the bone i guess but that's not the same as shooting tears whereas on the regular forgotten you've got the soul you could swap back and forth you don't have to worry about taking red heart damage like ever and uh, it's a you know i understand it's a, it's the flip side of the argument the exact flip side of the argument so Thank you very much, Egg with Legs. And last but not least, we also had uh, Summer Summer Pittman, Summer's Pittman, who said, Hot Potato, Tainted Forgotten. Not sure what that means, but I assume that they're talking about being on Team Tainted Forgotten. So I'm, I'm definitely with you there. And also, I want to give a, a special shout-out uh, to 8Phobos8, who also had a very well-written comment, even though it got a little bit, a little bit uh, overlooked just because of the fact that, A, I didn't post the thread, and, B, um, it didn't. It just didn't receive a whole lot of upvotes. Uh, but they said, uh, "I'm team forgotten all the way, all the way up here." Uh, he's just too unique and versatile. He reminds me of ma of a Mage Knight build for a character in RPGs. Uh, if you can play your cards right and manage your resources, you can whack someone in melee and blast range, uh, or in melee range and blast someone from far away if needed. Plus the uh, utility of other magic. I can see why some people may not like it, but he's just my favorite character to enjoy the game as, and I really appreciate. The, uh, the well thought out and articulated uh, comment there, Phobos. So I just wanted to give that shout out. Even though it didn't get all the upvotes, I still wanted to just, you know, just let everybody know I appreciate everyone leaving comments. I do read them all, um, even if some of them get kind of lost in the sauce. And you know, sometimes I'm unable to, to post the question of the episode for one reason or another. I still read them all. So thank you very much. I just, I, I liked that comment. So exceptions can be made it is the top three comments but you know sometimes sometimes not okay we're just gonna i guess get double double tapped here against gertie senior <sighs> well too close there ball of bandages way too close that absolutely would have hit us because if you didn't notice like most of our stats are not great 
Um, 3.65 damage is, is fine for floor one. And our tears rate is okay, but our movement speed is not. Not at all. And uh, this is... This run's quickly going downhill here. What I'm trying to say is that us losing the devil deal and or angel deal here is uh, real bad. Real, real bad. We get matchbook. Matchbook. Ooh, boy. That is... We've already tried to double... Uh everything in the shop and failed miserably i think we just head on down but like we could go in the curse room but i do not want to be on half of a heart with this build yeah we're in trouble here So we could get into the boss trap room. Don't ever back into this corner, by the way, unless you have an orbital where you have the damage to, to deal with a charging grub at you. Uh, we are going to have to pull out some serious... I mean, I mean, uh, uh, look, I, I feel like we got a little debated here at the early going game to use a Twitch chat, use a Twitch chat analogy here in real life. But, you know, you did kind of give us a little bit too much false hope there with the triple payout of the Crooked Penny only for us to get, you know, Demon Baby, Boiled Baby, and friggin' hypercoagulation. Yo, can we, like, I appreciate that we're on Flooded Caves game. I really do. I don't because it's, like, one of my least favorite levels. But, like, if we could just stop getting just grub after grub after grub, that'd be great. Yeah, I guess they're better than, like, getting a bunch of bonies or clotties. But the, the problem is that we don't have the mobility to deal with them. We've got the damage to deal with them for now, but we don't have the mobility. Well, I will say I would much rather deal with Clotties or uh, Grubs than Ministros. Ministros love to not only schmoove, but they like to shoot and schmoove at the same time. All right, here we go. Fourth item room. Will we take an item? Yes, we will. Blood of the Martyr is not a HP upgrade, but it does give us a healthy damage upgrade. Obviously, if we get the Book of Belial somehow, we uh, will get an extra little damage bonus off of that. But we can't really think about that right now because we're still on only uh, one HP, technically. So, and with this movement speed and this damage, or lack thereof, we are... This, this half soul heart is not long for this world, let's put it that way. So we're going to need some big-time plays in the shop, big-time plays in the devil deal, and just all-around big-time plays to get a devil deal because uh this is uh, we're we're in struggle bus city here y'all we have to take there's no way that i'm going to risk losing the card against humanity no way um it is just simply too potentially valuable for us and we can use it in here which is not the best use but I think it actually covers more ground than in here like I think there's actually more free spots in here okay so what we need to hope for is we get an early petrified poop I'll take a soul heart but petrified poop is still technically better Yep. 
I am willing to risk doubling hive mind or losing it just because like obviously I'd love to get two or three BLs above. We could buy it outright, but I mean with desperate times call for desperate measures, and we are already at desperate desperate times here. Just looking for that petrified poop. Surely we'll get it before we run out of poop in this room, right? All right. All right. Surely. Told you. All right, now we can start really potentially balling out of control in this room alone, but here's the hope that we get like a billion soul hearts, maybe a trillion eternal hearts, and uh, can really start turning this around. This will be the play of the run if we end up coming out here with like a devil deal and a bunch of HP. Yeah, 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 yeah. So now I'm getting to the point where I may not want to sacrifice Hive Mind, although two or three out of Beelzebub would still be technically, I guess, better. <coughs> yeah, this is this is the big time play that we needed here. Card against humanity. Okay, so we end up getting a lot of money. I'm still going to stick with the paper clip, though. Because uh, we're unlikely to see any more poop for the rest of this run that is meaningful anyway. Things you can only say in Isaac. I am going to buy just Hive Mind outright. And I don't know why I'm holding on to this Reverse Temperance Machine card, but... I can go ahead and go away now. Okay, so we, we got ourselves a little bit of a window here, a little bit of a safe safe spot, safe haven. A little cushion, just a little cushion. Let's not squander it by losing it now. Again, that being said, it's a lot easier said than done. We are in full on struggle bus, but we're we're trying to we're trying to back the bus out, you know. This is a four point turn and we're on point number one point three. Get kind of a freebie boss here with uh, Fistula, and I'm thankful for that. Fistula is a boss that teaches you how to control your outgoing damage. It's a concept that I talk about all the time on this, this channel. That single-handedly stops us from taking a Devil Deal unless we get an HP upgrade here, which we didn't. Not that it matters anyway, because we didn't get a Devil Deal, so... Womp, 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 womp. Four five, here we go. All right. Yeehaw. Riding cowboy. Old capacitor. What else do we have in here? Oh, wow. Ice cube. Eat. I remember how we were like, just real happy, just real like stoked. Oh wow, we got we got ourselves a run coming up here, brother. We just doubled three times in a row, brother. Nothing can take us down, brother. Remember that? Remember that? Like what? Sixteen minutes ago? Yeah. Yeah. Really? We get the virus, which is going to give us a movement speed up, and there's no way in heck I was going to double that and chance losing a movement speed upgrade. One of the biggest 
handicaps that we've had in this run so far. <laughs> All right, now is when you give us a reverse judgment card game. Chariot card. Kidding me. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, buddy. Here we go. I think the game just like woke up today and was like you know all those all those items that Sinvicta doesn't take and item rooms for only Sinvicta reasons let's just give that just give it to him just give it to him see what happens here's the fun part even if we get a devil deal we probably still can't take it um unless and if and only if we actually get a payout from the Crooked Penny. And let me tell you something, brother. Guess how that's going to go. The divorce papers was just going to give us a much needed tears up. And, uh, yeah. Not, not great. Get Cammy Conception. I am going to take, uh, I have a cult. I'm not going to take the second one for Leviathan. That is, that is suicidal at that point. Um, God, I, I almost, almost have to take guillotine here and I really, really hate that. It does give us a massive tears up though. How about this? How about this game? As I'm going to, I'm going to use your, I'm going to use your, your mechanics against you. How about this? If you double guillotine, I will take guillotine. If, and only if you give me two of them. Ah, that's right. Two can play this crappy game. You think about that? You think about that game? You give me two guillotines, and Sinvicta will willingly take guillotine. How about that? Yeah, let's see. Uh, let's, let's see where the RNG luck falls now. All right, Sinvicta smart. Sinvicta smart. Two can play this game. So who? What's gonna win out? The games ultimate distrust and hatred and detestment of Sinvicta or the game's overwhelming desire to watch me play with an item that I absolutely hate. There can be only one. This will, this will forever from this day forward, forever answer the question. What wins out more the game's hatred for Sinvicta or the game's desire to watch Invicta suffer. Either way, it's win-win for the game. Let us let this be our final battle. That's the that's the price. I will take guillotine, but only if you double it with the crooked penny game. That is my iron price. I cannot go below it. Where is my... Where is my iron price? Damn right, you can give me my soul heart back. Okay. Here we go. Well, I mean, we could buy a trinket smelter, I guess. But we don't have to worry about keys anymore. Let's feed our hopefully hungry, hungry donation machine. Look at that, over $4. All right, it's the moment of truth. It's the moment of truth. What's it gonna be, game? What's it gonna be? Are you gonna are you gonna finally prove that you 
you love to troll or are you gonna are you just gonna get the trolling out of the way and take away the guillotine You know what would have been cool? Is if both of the heads fired. Now that would have been cool. That would have been like a... That would have been like a synergy that you would want. You know, get yourself like a non... A non-2020 to 2020. A non-damage down 2020. Wouldn't that have been cool? using the guillotine heads as orbitals here. They do deal a decent amount of damage whenever they actually make contact with enemies. He ran all the way over there, didn't you? So obviously our tiers, our tier uh, delay is no longer an issue. Who knew that guillotine broke the tiers cap? I didn't. Why would I know that? I never take this item question. Uh, we could play the sacrifice room, although I think that would be very foolish. We need a fool. We can just go in here and use the fool card after we get a whole butt ton of HP, which I am super stoked about. We can use the fool card just to save us a half heart. Now, again, we could go into the sacrifice room and play it. I still think that would be foolish to, I mean, just based on what we have here in this run and... It would help us possibly get a proc off of Cambian Conception, sure, but is that really worth using the the hard work that we've done to get this this amount of HP and survive through the dooky pile that was the beginning of this run? I mean, I know I'm saying this all in like a downward inflection rhetorical way, but Look, it's it, it, I got a real I got to ask the real questions. It's also amazing that if any shot gets It's also amazing that if any shot gets through double It's also amazing if any shot gets through double guillotine and uh and ball of bandages cuz you know, in order for that to happen, like a lot of things have to go wrong or like we just have the worst possible dodging angles possible and uh it just keeps on happening so i guess uh jokes on me unbelievably it's not a greed fight in here got it paid off the world card yeah i guess we can use now and just buy another one sure why not Uh, should go into the mob trap room. As long as there's not a greed fight in there, that means we can get into the boss trap room. By mob trap room, I mean seeker room. As long as there's not a greed fight inside of secret room, we can get out and go into the mob, the boss trap room for the cost of one low, low bomb. We do all that for a range and shot speed upgrade, which is honestly fine because we kind of needed the shot speed. Plus, we get a soul heart anyway, so it cost us a fool card. Oh, no. But, uh, yeah. 26 minutes to mom is not only my favorite Jared Leto parody band, but also uh, not good. We take left hand here just because we might as well. Uh, I saw the writing on the wall with that shot. It was coming right for us. I still think that we deal more damage with the guillotines than anything else. 
Like the guillotine heads, the decapitated heads. And I still maintain that I believe that it's, it should, it would be much cooler if both of the heads fired instead of just one. That would actually make double guillotine like, you know, an attractive play. I mean, how often do you get double guillotine, really? Yeah, this is not a, this is not a lamb build. Okay, well. Boy, howdy, look at that. I'd honestly rather stick with the 50-50 roll at this point. Curse of Darkness, please, for the love of everything holy, give us a reroll. Because we could actually turn those three red stews into something useful. Uh, and guillotine into something useful as well. You stopped knocking guillotine. It gave you an all stats up. Oh, it didn't. It gave us a tears up, first off. Secondly, it only gave us, like... It gave us a little bit of damage, sure. But, like, you know... The tears ups... The double tears ups is nice. Don't get me wrong. Is it worth the amount of, uh, of uncoordinated mumbo jumbo that you have to go through to play with? How about that? How about that, Chief? Magic skin. Really, the biggest problem with guillotine is just that it changes the location of the center of Isaac's body. Oh my God. Oh my God. What, what what was that weird delay that you did there, Pin? That was like strange. He delayed that for like a three quarters of a second interval. It was very odd. We do get a reroll, and you'd be you're out of your gourd if you don't think I'm gonna take this. Wow, 2.72 damage. Thanks to experimental treatment. We're back down to 3.31 tiers. We've back down to our, what was our starting movement speed? Wow. I didn't think it'd be possible for that run to get worse. And um, here we are. Oh. Now, I mean, uh, what else do we have to lose at this point? Oh, baby. <laughs> the car battery magic skin, baby. Oh, what a great run. Who could complain about this run? Nobody. <coughs> uh, we don't even have tech point five. That's Robo Baby doing that. I mean, what, what do we even do here? I almost, I, I kid you not. I almost want to go for the D four. I almost want to go for the D four, but there is a play that is actually better than the D four. It's a play that not many people are going to like, but at this point, I don't really care. There's one item that we have already seen in this game, by the way, that could rectify this entire thing. It's not an item that you're thinking of. <coughs> no, it's not Sissy. It's an item that we have already seen. It's an item that I'm going to take. You can probably guess which item it is. No, I'm not going to be taking any red chests because in fear of us getting teleported out. If I can find said item.
Again, it's an item that we've already seen. I going blind. There it is. Now, why in the world would I take void? Why? Well, because we have magic mush. By magic mush, I mean mega mush. However, this is also going to void, uh, uh, magic skin. So what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of magic skin first. We're going to bring it over here. We're going to put blank card in here. Then we're going to take blank card and drop it down here. Now, if all things are considered, we should, should void Mega Mush. Should. We did. Thank God. Um. Okay. Now, why in the world would I care about doing that? Well, because Void has a six room cooldown, while Mega Mush has 12. We also, also, also have car battery, which allows us to get double use out of our Mega Mush. Meaning that we can essentially cancel out all the bad stuff that's happened on this run and just simply use Mega Mush to run through the rest of this run. Now, like I said, some people are not going to like that, that play. Also, apparently we also have options. Some people are not going to like that play because it feels a little cheap. I would argue that it's a pretty big brain play because given the fact of what else we could we take other than Genesis, even if we took Genesis, we wouldn't get a guaranteed better run than what we had earlier with double guillotine. So I think that the surefire way here is to void Mega Mush and just survive until we get a full charge on Void again. Still not sure what's going on with the animations, but you know what? Isaac is a bug-free game that never crashes or has any problems. Not sure uh, where these tears are going, but you know what? I'm not here to understand Isaac. We get a devil deal again. And yep. That's, that's what happens when you use magic magic skin. Look, I, I say it was a necessary evil to make it happen. It's not like I mean I don't feel bad about using about using Mega Mush. Like this is a this is a play that we absolutely positively needed to do. I mean that given that reroll was just awful, and then the the risk of using of using magic skin only for us to get our battery into death certificate is in my opinion I feel like that's like that that's just the team of destiny right there it was just meant to be you know and I mean come on come on are you really gonna get mad at a play like that it was just it, you know I I'm I'm thankful for the opportunity to have gotten this combo 
after the absolute hell that we had earlier. Why don't we take pick up this hairball? Let's go ahead and use this now. Again, we have a double charge on our uh, Mega Mush, so the duration is going to be for twice as long. Which is kind of pog. And then, of course, you throw into the mix the fact that our our cooldown on uh, on Mega Mush is lowered by a half. Uh, that, that's that's pretty powerful. Also, yes, that was very funny, Curse the Maze, how you like made a save time and then made an unsave time. Very, very, very classy of you. There we are, we are going to get the dub in overwhelming fashion. It took us a, a lot of belly aching and a whole lot of patience to get there. But you know what? You got to see double guillotine. And when do you ever get to see that? Uh, you also got to see the the Cricket Penny pay out three times in a row, which never, ever, ever happens. So rejoice for that. I know I am. Thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click the like button. If you didn't, click the dislike button. All right, fine. We'll go, we'll go stomp on Delirium real quick. Not over yet, but it's practically over. Of course, now that I, now that I've used my world card, I wish we hadn't. I don't know what's causing this visual glitch going on with Isaac right now and Mega Mush. Just kind of, you know, Isaac things. I'll go ahead and. Avoid those for stats. There we go. Get some damage and shot speed. I'm really impressed by our tier height. Our tier height is second to none right now. A delirium. One thing I probably should have done is refresh the duration of a uh, of void before coming in here. Because one thing I don't want to do is fight delirium without being mega mushified. But we have used it so many times in a row, I don't think it's going to matter. I think Delirium's going to be dead before we even lose the uh, cooldown. Lose the duration. So there we go. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, somehow we got a Delirium kill out of this one. I don't know how, but... Well, actually, I do know how, but... Let me know in the comments down below what would you have taken in the death certificate play. Would you have taken Void? Did you see the Void play coming? Or would you have taken something completely different? Post them in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts. Top three most upvoted comments will be read on next week's episode. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Have a great Wednesday, everybody. And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody. Thanks for watching this video. I'd like to thank some patrons of mine like Janice and Crypto14. If you'd like to have your name read at the end of the Isaac episode, check out my Patreon campaign, which you can find over at patreon.com slash Invicta.